Hi, I am Dr. Nareesh Zadho, Consultant Medical Oncology at Narana Super Speciality Hospital, Guwahati. Today I am here to talk about targeted therapy. Now, over the last 20-30 years, there has been a drastic change in the way we treat cancer patients. Newer and better anti-cancer drugs are being developed at an unimaginable pace. With better understanding of the disease biology, we have moved from a blanket treatment to personalized medicine, which relies on the principle that each cancer patient is different and requires different treatment to achieve best results. Targeted therapy has evolved as a separate treatment modality for cancer patients over the last decade or so. So how does a targeted therapy act? A targeted therapy acts specifically on targets that are present on the cancer cells. This is very much similar to a shooter who takes aim, shoots at the target and does not cause damage to the surrounding structures. Now we need to understand that a cancer cell is different from a normal cell at all levels morphologically and genetically. A cancer cell during the process of its development develops certain novel characters which are different and not present in the normal cells. These novel characters may be in the form of proteins which are present on the cancer cell surface or inside the cancer cell or it may be in the form of a genetic mutation which is present inside the cancer genome. These novel characters are present exclusively in the cancer cells and act as targets for these targeted agents to act. So what is the difference between a chemotherapy and a targeted therapy? Both chemotherapy and targeted therapy kill cancer cells. However, there is a principal difference in the mechanism of cell kill. Chemotherapy acts by killing rapidly multiplying cells in the body. As a result of this, it not only kills the rapidly multiplying cancer cells, but also causes some degree of damage to rapidly multiplying normal cells like hair follicles or mucosal epithelial cells, though to a far less extent. Targeted therapy on the other hand is directed towards targets that are present specifically on cancer cells. As a result of this, the damage to normal bystander cells is kept to minimal. This leads to better efficacy and lesser side effects. So do all patients benefit with targeted therapy? Now we need to understand that the presence of a target is important for the targeted therapy to act. We test on the patient's cancer cells whether a particular target is present or not. If a particular target is present, targeted therapy is offered to the patient and it benefits him. If the target is absent, the patient does not derive any benefit from any form of targeted therapy. It is interesting to know that a single patient may have multiple targets with multiple targetable therapies. Does it mean that targeted therapies have no side effect? Unfortunately, no. Despite being highly specific to cancer cells, targeted therapy do have adverse drug reactions. However, majority of these side effects are mild and can be easily managed at an experienced center. Majority of the patients who receive targeted therapy will end up tolerating the side effects fairly well. Another point to note is that the side effects of targeted therapies are different from the side effects of chemotherapy and this gives us an excellent opportunity to combine these two modalities of treatment for the best results in a given patient. So this is a nutshell about targeted therapies. Now we need to understand that these are high-end treatments which requires expertise and knowledge about their administration protocols and side effects for the best benefit of the patients. That is why these treatments are best taken at an experienced tertiary care center with experienced hands.